Hi there, this is Anub. Today we are going to talk about the remediation script version 2. This is the version 2 video of remediation script. In the first video which I published last week, the remediation script package which I deployed was not working as expected. So I promised to come up with a version 2 video or an update in the description. So I thought of coming out with a version 2 video rather than a description update. So this video is about that. So if you have not watched the previous video, I will recommend, strongly recommend to watch that first over here. If you click on the i button in YouTube, you would be able to see that particular video. How did I fix it and what was the result at the end? So don't skip it. Let's check it out. Let's look into the version 2 of remediation script. How to fix, who helped me to fix it. All these things we are going to see in this video. So if you have not seen the version 1, I highly recommend to watch over here. If you click on the i button, you can see that video. Not going to go through all these slides. It is all about PowerShell scripts deployment and proactive remediation script package deployment what are the differences etc etc what are the requirements what are the licensing things needed etc all these are discussed in the previous video version 1 video if you click on i button you can see that so what did i do there was a mistake in the previous script i missed this part remediation script only runs if detection script uses exit code exit 1 this means issue was detected i didn't use this code it it was used but was commented out this is what happens if you use chat gpt to create a script and if you are not well versed with powershell scripting okay so first of all pascal helped me to identify the problem in the script over here you can see this was the thing i used in the script and i changed it to this and that helped to resolve the issue let's go into the demo part of it and see how the reporting and other things looks after this change how to update the script package that is also we are going to see in the demo let's get into it let's see how to update the script at the moment i'm having version 3 of the script and i'm uploading version 4 and you can see the the new script is already uploaded that was the detection script now i'm going to upload the remediation script that is version 3 earlier it was version 2 so remediation script is getting uploaded now got uploaded and you can see the new changes over there over here exit one that was all about the detection script exit zero exit one and over here also it is exit zero exit one the command was removed now you can click on review and save if it is okay from your side let's look into the report and device status that's interesting detection status is changed to pending and remediation status not run last run details also available over there so new script is working something is going on with the new detection script and the remediation script now let's look into the reports again and check what is happening over there policy is synced and now you can see the pending devices zero detection status with issue is one and remediation status is one okay that's really good we see the exciting things now <laughs> issue found one and that is fixed that means so it was all about the exit code of the script so now we are able to fix the script and the remediation script started working you can see detection status with issues yes and issue fixed yes now let's check the registry value on the client side to confirm okay it's two that means it is done the remediation is done that's good another thing what we are going to do now is we are going to run the detection script manually on the device and you can see it says complain that means the device is complain now the remediation script worked fine without any issue now let's check what are the changes which i made in the script exit 1 exit 0 both were commented out now removed 
that command and uploaded the new script that started working as we have seen before in the early part of the video now that you have seen all the details about my mistake and the fix and after fixing it what are the things you can see in the client side and on the intune reporting side hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around